Hey guys, this is Tushar this side. So in my last vlog, we saw how we can run a virtual machine on a legacy processor uh, by running a hardware compatibility wizard or by tweaking the VMware workstation configuration file. So in this video, I'm going to show you a very likely scenario which you might hit while running the hardware compatibility wizard uh, to downgrade your VM. And this is to do with the hard disk controller of your uh, VM, as in SATA, NVMe, IDE. So let's jump onto it. So here I've got a virtual machine which was built on quite a latest processor uh, with the latest specs. And as you can see, I've got a hard disk which is which has got a NVMe disk controller type. So if you try to run the hardware compatibility wizard to downgrade such machine you might hit a uh, error, which I'm going to show you. Compatibility wizard. So let's say I want to downgrade it to version 12 from my workstation, which is currently version 16. And as you can see, um, if I downgrade it to version 12, um, the NVMe devices won't be supported. So if I click next, this is the error I'm getting which says NVMe devices are not supported. If you are to downgrade, you need to remove all NVMe devices. So that essentially means I have to remove my NVMe hard disk and replace it with a, let's say SATA hard disk, which is compatible with the version 12 of the VM workstation in order to run the compatibility wizard. And this is really simple. All we need to do is actually um, add a new, let's say SATA hard disk and uh, remove the old NVMe. Let's cancel this. Open the virtual machine settings by clicking, click on add hard disk, click on next. Now you can choose any of, of these virtual disk types uh, depending upon your host configuration or the host machine configuration. In my case here, I will add a SATA hard drive, click next. Now you have the option of either creating a new virtual virtual disk or a physical disk or choose an existing virtual disk. So it really depends on what you want to do. But in my case here, I will convert my existing virtual disk for this virtual machine uh, to a SATA hard drive and click next. So I'll be providing the path to my current hard disks, which is a NVMe. Now on this step, on this step, uh, some people might get confused because uh, you know, the hard disks, uh, they could be, uh, you can have two kind of arrangements. Uh, one is where you have a single hard disk file or VMDK file, or you might, you might have uh, multiple VMDK files split into, you know, the single hard disk split into multiple VMDK files. Um, so in my case here, if I've got um, my virtual disk split into a number of smaller files, so if your virtual uh, virtual machine is having a split virtual disk configuration, as you can see here, uh, we've got a lot of, uh, you know, VMDK files. Um, then in this case, all you need to do is uh, choose the file without the suffix of S01, 02, or 03. Choose the first one, click open, finish. So as you can see, we have successfully added a SATA hard disk. We also got the previous NVMe hard disk still there. Yeah. Now you click on the OK to save this first. And your new SATA hard disk will appear here. Open it again. And now you can remove the NVMe old disk. Remove. Click OK to save. And now you should be able to successfully run your hardware compatibility wizard. Let's give it a try. Next, downgrading to version 12. No NVMe devices. Click next. And here you are. So we are no more getting the error of removing the NVMe devices. So it has been successful. So now we can carry on with the compatibility wizard further. And in my case, I will choose alter this virtual machine in place. Click next and finish. Here we go. So we have successfully downgraded. Um, our VM to version 12 from version 16 uh, by removing the NVMe devices. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching guys and hope this will be helpful. Catch you later. Take care.